What's up, Internet? My name is Kyle, back with another video about cameras, tech, and all that good stuff. Today, we have a lens review of the 25mm per gear f1.8 manual lens for the Sony a6000. So first, I want to give a big shout out to Pergear for sending me this lens for free. They didn't tell me to say anything. They just said, here's a lens, review it. And I said, okay. I've actually been really wanting to try out more cheap manual lenses for the Sony a6000. I'm finding them a lot more fun as I keep using different ones. And this one is no exception. So this lens is about 68 bucks US on Amazon. And I believe it's like $9 or so cheaper on actual pergear.com. I will have links, affiliate links and everything in the description in case you wanna pick this thing up. So let's dive into a couple little specs about this lens. So as I mentioned, the focal length is 25 millimeters and its maximum aperture is F 1.8 and its minimum aperture is F 16. As far as like a sweet spot in the maximum sharpness at a certain aperture, I found it's around f2.8. Uh, if you go down to f16, you definitely get sharper corners, but then the center kind of degrades a little bit. But overall, sharpest is at f2.8, and it's plenty sharp when it's at f1.8, and it's a lot of fun to shoot wide open. Now, as you guys know, I'm all about having very light lenses. This lens is pretty heavy for how small it is. It's a little heavier than the kit lens. It's an all metal design and it weighs 195 grams or 6.8 ounces. Compare that to the kit lens of the Sony a6000, that's 115 grams only at 4.09 ounces. Even just holding it up right now on the a6000, it feels substantially heavy compared to the actual camera body. That's obviously something that is expected from an entire metal lens. And if you like that feel, it's got great build quality. And something that accompanies that all metal body and really cool feel is the focus ring and the aperture ring. They feel silky smooth, but they have a little tension. It almost feels like you're turning a ball bearing because it feels kind of like greased up like an actual piece of machinery. And that's kind of cool. So I want to dive into a bunch of photo examples and even some video examples from this manual lens. But first, real quick, I just want to thank today's video sponsor, Skillshare. You guys have heard me talk about Skillshare before. It's a huge online learning platform built for creators like you and creators like me have courses on there. Cool thing about Skillshare, it is very cheap. It's about 10 bucks a month compared to courses that are in-person and seminars, which are hundreds of dollars a session. It is a steal. Now, a course that I just saw the other day is by Dan Mace, who, if you don't know who that is, he is a awesome creative filmmaker and a YouTuber, one of the people who I will never unsubscribe from. Dan Mace is an amazing artist. So Dan actually has a course on there called Tell Your Story Through Video. The story is where it starts. If it's a great story and you tell it right, you're bound to grab attention. So my advice to anyone is the story is where you start too. The first thousand people to click through the link in the description for Skillshare will get two free months of premium membership and you can check out Dan's class as well as a bunch of others. So thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's get into the photo and video examples from the Pergear 25 millimeter F1.8 lens.
So I've had this lens for a little bit and I must say it is very fun to use and I like the overall feel and contrary to my normal opinion about weight of lenses and everything like that, I like the way this lens feels on the Sony a6000. It's funny because I usually gravitate away from anything that adds weight to my bag and things like that, but when it comes to an all metal lens, I kind of let that go a little bit. It's more when it's like a normal lens with some plastic and it just has so much glass in it that it is extremely heavy and it just seems out of place. Whereas this is an all metal design, it looks the part, it looks vintagey, and it weighs more just because of that look and I'm fine with it. Another one of my favorite things about this lens is the minimum focusing distance. I've talked about that before in other lens reviews. I like getting up close and personal when I'm taking photos sometimes. The minimum focusing distance for this lens is 0.68, whereas for say like the Makey 35 millimeter or the Fotasi 35 millimeter, it's more like a foot. So you definitely can get closer with this lens if that's something you're into. Of different objects, kind of getting a wide view with an up close perspective type thing. And this lens lets me do that. It's 25 millimeters. It's equivalent to around a 35, 37 millimeter full frame if you care about that sort of thing. And it's wider than the other manual lenses I've looked at, which were all 35 millimeters, the Fotasi, the Makey, and the Bright and Star lens. If you're curious about my review about those lenses, it will be up here. It's, uh, I think, three lenses under $100 for the Sony a6000. So out of all of the manual lenses that I've used with my Sony a6000 and now my a6100, I must say there is a tie between the Makey 35 millimeter f1.7 and this per gear 25 millimeter f 1.8. I think the Makey has a little bit better build quality than the per gear. I mean, the per gear kind of just screams like it's like a, a piece of machinery, like it's from a well oiled machine. But the Makey was a little more contemporary, a little bit more of my style, and it was extremely sharp. The per gear is sharp extremely awesome. I love the wider field of view. The minimum focusing distance is more my wheelhouse. However, I think in terms of like how much fun I've had with each of those lenses, I would just kind of leave it as a tie. They're not the same focal length and that is definitely a preference thing. Do you like wider? Do you like more telephoto? But I enjoy these lenses equally. I wish I still had the Makey, but I gave it away after making that last video. I may get it in the future, but for now, this per gear is filling my void as far as having fun with the manual lens, and maybe you guys will like it too. I have a lot of fun reviewing these types of lenses, so if you guys have any lenses that it may be under $100 or something, put them in the comments down below and I will take a look at them. I may do like another three lens video and then give them all away or something like that. I think that may be kind of the next thing going forward with manual lens reviews. Thanks to Per Gear for giving me this lens and giving me the freedom to say whatever I want. And I really like the lens, so nothing really bad to say about it. Check all the affiliate links in the description. You guys know it helps me out a ton, but always find the gear where it's cheapest for you. I think that's it. Little lens review for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know other lenses in the comments, like I said. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next episode later.